coming from Aulan, Musahan, with a nice topic, but Zimbabwean uh, people should go home and be part of the change they want to see in their country, especially those who are educated and use the knowledge and skills about accumulated here uh, in yeah. Africa as well. Guys, let's welcome on the card, gentlemen, uh, from the Zimbabwe Communist Party, as well as uh, uh, KF Malindi Jr., a political analyst. Guys, welcome to the Thank, Thank you. What do you make of the comment? Well, um, we don't think that uh, Zimbabweans would go back to Zimbabwe now. Uh, there's, there's no new Zimbabwe. Uh, it's Zan PF that is in power. What we have seen in the last few days, though, is that the party that was seen as at war against the imperialists, mm -hmm. uh, it's a party that is now embracing the West, occupying the space that was occupied by the opposition parties mm -hmm. uh, who were receiving uh, funding from the British and elsewhere. Mm. The position taken by President Nangawa to say we will compensate the white farm, commercial farmers will lose their land or our land which was with them in 2000. Mm. Uh, their neoliberal agenda mm -hmm. which, which they are now advancing it specifically says the interest of this new administration is to protect the economic interest of the British. We know what happened in the 80s when Zimbabwe or Mugabe was a darling of the West, the British and everyone else turned a blind eye mm. on the human rights abuse, including the genocide that happened in Matibele and Mikians. And with the soldiers now in the streets intimidating people, we see that uh, the international community, again, in the name of protecting their economic interests, will turn a blind eye. We are going to go to an election which will be controlled by the military. Zimbabwe is a deep state now. What, what it basically means when we say Zimbabwe is a deep state, the generals have said anyone who never went to war will not be president yes. or will not occupy the highest office. As this group phases out because of the military, the young people who are sitting here and elsewhere would be told that if you have never been in the military, if you never joined the Zimbabwe National Army, you will not occupy the highest office. So what it basically means is that before you pursue your any other career, you need firstly to start in the military train as a soldier. And serve the, the, and, and serve the military. That, this is what the deep state means. Uh, is that, when Doi Shon Jengamanje says there is no hope for Amanda Basha Basa Zimbabwe to lead the Zimbabwe? No, no. We, they can serve. They, they, they can serve. But, but, but I'm saying in the context of a, a being occupying the, the highest office. Oh, yes. but, but, but of course, the opportunities that have been presented by this coup is that uh, we are hoping that soon, as, as we are getting into the festive season, we will get money through the ATMs. There's no money in the banks, mm -hmm. as, as, as you know. Um, some money might, might be uh, available in the banks for people as they go to Christmas. But as we build the economy, our fear is that we will build this economy through cheap labor. Um, that, that's, 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 that's our fear. We need it there for... Let's bring you KF on this one. Uh, do you share the same sentiments as well? Um, I think there's, a lot of been, there's been a lot of conjecture and uh, assumption and opinions that have been spoken about throughout the show so far. Yeah. Yeah. I'll firstly speak to um, the, the social media social, comment yeah. and say Zimbabwe's biggest resource it's not our mineral resources, it's not the, the, the gold, the platinum, it's us as the people of Zimbabwe. Exactly. And a very good friend of mine actually says, um, he has a statement that's called Chisungo, that's actually, we are the diamonds. Mm -hmm. So for us to, our movement across the globe is us taking our resources out there and bringing resources back into the country. Mm -hmm. So to think that just because Zimbabwe has changed, our people shall not move out of the country. People do not start leaving Zimbabwe only after you know uh, the land reform program. Yes. People have been moving out of the country since the 70s, mm. 80s. Mm. We've always... And what been, has been the reason for that? Because we have the capacity. Mm. Our skills are needed outside the world. Okay. If every Zimbabwe was to plot of South Africa today, that would be very detrimental to your so economy. South Africa, definitely. So let's not run away from yeah. that. Mm. So first, that's to that comment. Secondly, we spoke of a coup. A coup. Now, I'm not going to speak as a politician. Yeah. I'm a political analyst. So let's okay. look at the academic and educated part of it. A coup is when you take over government. Yes. Zimbabwe is a presidential democracy, which means it's made up of three, government is made up of three branches. Yes. Okay. The judiciary, mm -hmm. parliament, mm -hmm. as well as the executive. Mm -hmm. Only the executive was taken over. Yes, nothing else. We do not have an academic name for what happened in Zimbabwe, but to call it a coup would be wrong okay. because the judiciary and parliament were not dissolved. They were not taken over. In fact, for Robert Mugabe to resign, because he resigned, yes. parliament sat 
this is the big, the, it was actually the biggest parliamentary seating we've ever had, mm -hmm. to the extent that we found out that our parliament cannot seat all our parliamentarians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they had to move to the HICC. Yeah. Um, so it was not a coup. Let's call it a soft coup. Let's, let's, let's have a better word. Let's have a better word. Let's just put it like, like, like that. Cool. But let's jump <laughs> into uh, now the new Zimbabwe. Do you see the new Zimbabwe um, uh, under the, the, the current president? Let us be skeptical. I love that Zimbabweans are skeptical of Emerson Mnangagwa and of Zanu Pierre. Mm. However, let us not run away from the fact that Robert Mugabe ruled with an iron fist. Okay. So to assume that everything that Emerson Mnangagwa or any other uh, member of Zanu Pierre did during that time yeah. was something that they wanted to do would be wrong. Mm. Okay. It is an assumption. Mm. Because a lot of these people were not able to express their own wills within Robert Mugabe's government. Mm. So, it was, we, it, so we're saying that the, the current president now could have acted out of could. It could. is an assumption. That's okay. what I'm saying. These are all assumptions. Emerson Nangarwa has never been the president of Zimbabwe. Yes. So we can't Neither has Morgan Sangra. Yes. They've never been able to implement their own policies. Yes. However, Emerson Nangarwa in the past 14 days, 14, yes. let's call it three weeks that he has been president, um, we had the budget announcement on Thursday, and I'm surprised that no, no one has actually mentioned it. And the international community has given it a six and a half out of ten. Mm -hmm. It is the best budget that Zimbabwe has ever seen in policy. Mm -hmm. It has not been implemented, but in policy, it is the best budget that has ever been presented in the nation. So and and the influence of the West? There has been no influence of the West. Because Zimbabweans were very clear during this soft coup to say, we want to do this alone. So African, the African, the AU, African Musa African. Faki actually said, okay, let Zimbabweans do as they please. Mm -hmm. Jacob Zuma did try and intervene, and then he did plan to come in. Mm -hmm. By the time he, he had planned to come in, Zimbabweans had gone on the street and said, no, no, please. <laughs> well, well, yeah. well, if, if you read the report of the World Bank in 1995, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. after the Economic Structural Adjustment Program, mm -hmm. the World Bank said Zimbabwe did well in implementing the Economic Structural Adjustment Program. Yeah. President Nangaba is trying to uh, to be there is a day, the, the, the leader who took over from Chairman Mao, he was the first person to introduce economic, uh, economic reforms in China, and uh, this is what uh, President Nangawa is trying to do. Let, let, let's just hold it there and just go to um, Facebook. Uh, Mugabe, as President Mugabe has been asked in a peaceful coup, the World Bank and IMF will now grant loans to Zimbabwe and the new leadership of President Emerson Nangawa to take start. I'm quite interested to see what's going to happen in terms of the World Bank and IMF. And so, will, will they be granting these loans or will they not? But we're going to find out, talk a little bit more about Zimbabwe and good understanding. But please do, let's go to an ad break right now. Hi, Philip, and thank you for having us on the show. Um, the idea behind Conversations in Zimbabwe essentially was to have a platform where Zimbabweans could have discussions that weren't really based on the kind of binary environment that existed between Zimbabwe and MPC. Okay. So, ideally, if you were not.